Mondays be like Good morning and welcome to the vlog. Good morning. So today is Monday and to keep myself on track, I had made a list of like all the things I was gonna do today as well as what I was gonna film for you guys just to kind of stay organized. But you know, it's Monday so that's not gonna happen because my dad called me about an hour ago and we've really been wanting to start on this bathroom reno project. It's our main bath is just terrible. Um, and so today we're going to be shopping around for supplies for that. Um, but I did want to do um, a quick little talk about nutrition. As most of you know, we made a more plant-based transition of eating probably about a year and a half, almost two years ago now. So going plant-based, me and my husband both lost a substantial, substantial amount of weight and it was very easy to maintain. I was eating intuitively, which means I don't count calories, I don't count macros. Um, I was just eating and I felt great. Keep in mind, I understand nutrition and the three main food groups, so I had a very balanced plant-based diet. With that being said, in the past two months, we just had so much going on in our lives. We had weddings, I did um, an event in Georgia for the Masters, we have just had like that transition from um, winter to summer is really like killing us with the kids as well. So we just had really late evenings and really busy days. And in that process, we've been cheating a lot. For me, I've been cheating mostly with dairy um, and I have been eating meat here and there. Um, but honestly, it just, it really has like taken a toll. Also alcohol, um, there's been a lot of celebratory events happening. so. That always seems to include quite a bit of alcohol and I have just been feeling like crap and I got on the scale this morning which I don't normally do and I was up four pounds which in three months that's kind of, that's a big deal so a lot of it might be water weight. <laughs> Come here. a lot of it might be water weight but even with that like I just don't feel good so I'm getting back on track today um, me, my husband, and my sister-in-law are all doing a 15-day um, no alcohol, and with that, I'm gonna do strict vegan for 15 days. I've got to get back on track because it's a very quick downward spiral, and when you start getting lazy with it, you'll feel it. All right, where do you want it? Literally right in the middle. Mm -hmm, like this. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I don't know if I can get it in the middle. Right in the middle of your face. Yep. Like, the water. The baby gets, is putting another thing in the toilet. Like that? Is that good? Is that good? Lala, what are you doing? For what? To get ready to put a piece of paper to my skin for some violet. Well, it's very nice. Just wanna know, I just wanna know now. Try and get no, try and get no. Hope you 
be free to soul, hope be free to soul. I might have caught the June blues. Yeah, Alright, so if you guys have any ideas on or any suggestions for a new vacuum, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, I have tried the Dyson Animal and that's the cordless one and then I've tried another brand I cannot remember the name but it's like supposed to be similar to the Dyson um, I ordered it off of Amazon I think it's like a German brand didn't like that one I just tried my sister-in-law's shark which actually has the cord did like it a lot better on the rugs but I swear it still doesn't have as much suction as I would like for like the vinyl floors um, what I would really love is like the beater brush on a shop vac but small so yeah I don't know I just need a vacuum I'm getting ready to do a little bit of meal prepping nothing major I'm trying to get back on track with my nutrition and the best way to do that is just to get some healthy stuff prepared so so far I am getting some potatoes going I'm going to roast these potatoes in the oven but I'm, I boil them first um, to me this woo, so boiling your potatoes first, I feel like just before you roast them at a really high temp, um, you're wanting them to, you don't want them to get mushy, but you want them to just kind of soften a little bit. Um, this is kind of like par cooking them. Um, that way when you put them in the oven at a high temp, the outside just kind of crisp up and the inside's nice and soft. So I'm gonna boil these maybe five minutes, I think, and then um, I'll pop these in the oven. In the meantime, I also have some beets going. Um, so I'm just kind of getting some healthy stuff prepped and ready. Okay, so for my beets, all I did was cut the stem off, put them in, covered them in water, and these will take a good hour. So those are going. I did save the greens. Should ate breakfast. I did save the greens, and I also have some um, dandelion leaves. Um, so I'll saute these up and then just kind of slice over the um, actual beet root um, and make this into like a little salad. locked all my kids in the playroom and they literally have been holding on to my legs will not get out of the kitchen asking for everything in the world like they didn't eat a full-on breakfast and I just locked them all not locked them but I made them all go to the playroom and I shut the door so I can get some meal prepping done because I'm not spending my whole entire day making meal after meal after meal after meal after meal for them so mom shame me bring it I don't care my kids are locked in a room and I'm about to make a salad dressing to go with the salad we prep. So this is what's going in the salad dressing. So this is gonna be a really simple dressing. I'm just gonna add in some um, tahini. Some garlic powder. Some Dijon mustard. And some dill weed. So to the dressing, I literally just put everything in a jar. It smells really good. I love dill and Dijon together. I'm just gonna add a touch of water to it and mix it a little bit to get it started. And then I'm literally just gonna shake it um, 
Tahini is a great um, base because it has like a lot of the natural fats. Um, tahini paste is made from sesame seeds. Um, and then I usually will add some kind of like acid, whether that's like lemon juice. Today I use the Dijon mustard because it's really acidic. And then I'll add my seasoning. So I use the garlic powder and the dill. But you can really do anything. But this makes a great salad dressing that's completely plant-based. It has no like processed fats or oils. Um, and it ends up being pretty creamy. I don't know if you can see the texture here. I don't know if I need to add a little bit more water. Oh, and salt. I'll add in a little bit of salt and maybe a little bit of pepper too. Here lately I've been adding some smoked paprika and that adds like a really nice dimension too. But that's, this is the dressing that we'll have for either dipping the fries in or putting on the salad. Whatever I decide to eat for lunch because I don't even know what I'm eating yet. Alright, my potatoes are ready. Um, they are not quite fork tender. They're like right before fork tender. This is something that if you've never done um, parboiling or parboiling your potatoes before um, roasting them, um, you'll just kind of have to play around with it. I would start by just setting like a five or six minute timer and it depends on the thickness too. Like I have some pretty hefty <laughs> size, very pretty Lala um, potatoes. So yeah, so I'm going to just coat these in a tiny bit of avocado oil and then I'm going to um, roast them in the oven. The easiest way that I have found to peel beets is to simply just use a napkin. Once you've cut both sides of the stems off and your beets are completely cooled, you're just going to take a napkin and just kind of rub it around the outside and all of the skins actually will just stick to the napkin. Your hands will be a little stained but it comes off relatively easy. Beets are very nutritiously dense. Um, they t contain tons of different vitamins such as potassium, manganese, vitamin C, zinc, copper, iron. And they also have nitrates as well as um, tons of different antioxidants. Beets have tons of different powerful health benefits to them. Um, some of those include lowering your blood pressure, potentially preventing cancer, cleansing your liver, treating anemia, increasing stamina, and boosting libido. In the exercise nutrition world, there's a lot of people that actually will use beet supplements as a pre-workout. Um, the nitric oxide contained in them helps to as a vasodilator um, and it improves your performance um, when, during um, high intensity interval training or any kind of prolonged aerobic exercises um, and it also reduces the amount of oxygen that is required for you to exert yourself during those workouts. This is the end result of our prep and I'll still have salad left over for dinner and we have some of our potatoes which are delicious. And yeah, so that is lunch and this is a great start to getting on track. So today I was going to do a continuation of my what I eat in a days but that did not work out because my dad showed up at 10 o'clock to start on the bathroom. Um, so I don't have water right now. I figured that wasn't the best idea to start cooking with no water. So I'm going to take you guys with us. We're going to run some errands and I will show you kind of maybe what 
we eat when we're out and how to stay healthy when ordering out. So let's roll. Ready, girls? We're ready to go. Ready? <laughs> All right, let's roll. Okay, so we are done our errands and headed home. Um, I didn't think we were heading home. I thought we were going to a park, so we did stop at Taco Bell. Park, park, yeah. No, we're going home now. Um, so let me tell you what I got. Um, this is how I order at Taco Bell. Just so you guys know, you can order um, anything and you get it um, fresco style. And when you get it fresco, they take out the sour cream and the cheese. So I ordered the power, um, the power bowl, and I just get extra black beans, no chicken. Um, and then I get it fresco style, so they add um, pico, and then they'll take out the sour cream and the cheese. And then to go with that, because that's only like 310 calories, I think. Um, so to go with that, I'll get um, a side of the Fiesta potatoes, but then I take, I say no sour cream and no cheese for those either. So it's just like the little tiny fried potatoes. And I just put those on top of my salad, and then I'll add, I love the salt, like the hot sauce is the best part to me, so I just use hot. The Diablo does have sugar in it. Um, I don't think that the hot does. I'll have to double check. Um, but I just use that kind of as the dressing and that is how I order healthy, well it's as healthy as it gets for fast food. Um, but that's how I order vegan at Taco Bell. All right y'all, just getting home. Spent the whole day running around looking for par pieces to my bathroom. This is what it currently looks like. Let me show you. Yeah, so this is my bathroom right now. And I will show you guys the finished product when it's done, but right now we're in the reno stage. Anyway, long story short, I've been running errands all day. Um, I had watermelon and a piece of um, that, this um, Raisin the Roof Dave's Killer Bread. That was breakfast, and I just had it dry. No oil or um, coconut oil or anything on it. Had that for breakfast. I had intentions of showing you guys this really delicious um, vegan red enchiladas. Well, it's a black bean and, and red enchilada sauce. But that didn't happen because I just got home like an hour ago and we are all starving. So I'm gonna show you how we compromised and like what we ended up with. So for the kids, I did make them a box of Annie's mac and cheese and what I did was while the pasta was still cooking I just added in um, a box of this uh, red lentil pasta I tried this the other day and it was so good um, so I just mixed that in with it and then I just once the noodles were done I just took out me and Frankie's portion because we're not gonna be having the cheese sauce um, and then to go with that I'm like digging in the trash right now to go with that, we have these little vegan um, chickenless patties from, I get these ones from Aldi's. They're literally not the greatest again, but it's quick and sat very satisfying. Um, and it's just the only option we really had for tonight. So this is what we ended up throwing together. So I did grill up some squash while I had the grill on, I threw the patties on. Um, you can see the pasta is a blend of the chickpea pasta and the regular pasta. And for our sauce, what I did is I just mixed together um, the leftover tahini dressing that I had and I threw in some salsa with it. Um, and I just literally mixed that together and it kind of made this creamy salsa-like um, sauce. And I threw that on me and Frankie's pasta. The kids just have regular mac and cheese. Then we have the um, chicken and the zucchini or squash. And then to go with our chicken noodle bowls with the squash, I also made these greens. This is just wilted down kale with fresh garlic and um, kidney beans. And then I did add, for seasoning, I added salt. And at the end, I just hit it with a little bit of white wine um, just to add a little bit of acidity. And yeah, so that will be dinner. Luckily you guys cannot tell, but all those children in the background are actually naked. I'm gonna show you what their source of entertainment has been today. 
and I'm not gonna get them in the frames. Um, so in the process of taking the tub apart, uh, we have an old tub and to keep them out of the way today and occupied, the tub has come outside and was filled up with water and this has been a pool. How redneck are we? Like, pretty redneck, right? It's all good though. It entertained them and kept them out of the way. So, there you go. <laughs> Let's eat. Well, we got a Comment. And comment below. If you know what this is, comment. <laughs>